We've created tutorial videos to educate how to use Vivid Picks Restore software. Please take the time to watch all at once, one at a time, when trying something new and as a refresher. Restore is patented and powerful software that we've made fast, easy, and affordable so anyone can get great improved photos and documents. Here's a quick overview. Click Select Image and choose one image or hold down the control key and click multiple images to enter the fixed queue. I'm going to select a document, a black and white JPEG photo, and a color TIFF photo. We provide a 9-up view where the software artificial intelligence feels that the center image is the best fix. But as these are very difficult images to improve, and that everyone sees lightness and contrast differently, we apply more contrast, less light in the bottom left, and less contrast, more light in the top right. This way, you can select the image that looks best to you. On the left side of the 9-up screen, we provide four different algorithms. Faded printer slide, badly faded printer slide, digital or cell phone for current images, and faded document or text. Depending on the image type, select the most appropriate fixed type. As this is a document, I'll select faded document or text. The program opens in easy edit mode and as a color image. As this is a black and white document, I'll fine tune and select black and white. On this screen, you're able to rotate the image 90 degrees left or right or slightly tilt the image if the scan or actual photograph was slightly tilted. Because you never want to lose your original image, we automatically create a second improved image and add the suffix vivid to the file name. For example, 123JPEG becomes 123VividJPEG. We automatically put the fixed image in a folder named Vivid. This new folder is placed within the folder where you originally selected the image. In order to help organize your images, you're able to change the name of this folder. For instance, a person's name, location, event, or anything else. This new folder is placed within the folder where you originally selected the image. If you're happy with your fix, click Save Next. The next image comes up automatically. As this is a black and white photograph of my Aunt Lois, I select Faded Photo or Slide, and I prefer the middle image. As this is actually a black and white photo, I can select black and white at the bottom left, and it becomes a black and white fixed pic. But I like seeing some of the age of this photo. It's fade. So I keep it as color, but I can see so much more about Aunt Lois, her face, her eyes, her blouse, and necklace. By selecting Detail Edit, I can fine-tune the image, perhaps adding a bit more lightness. I like it, and click Save Next. The next image is a color TIFF image. Because this was scanned at 600 dpi, there is so much more information for the software to work with, and so the colors really pop. Click Save Next, and that completes this software overview section. Give your pics and documents the vivid pics fix.